This is the costing uh, test route. Once you've completed your uh, yard portion of the test, we will then come and see the required operation running up to this field on the open road. And the test begins here at the gate, at the entrance of the test uh, facility. Um, at this point, the domino will ask you to put on your seatbelt and uh, proceed with the drive. Um, you'll be standing here in neutral with your handbrake engaged. The first thing you do is to place your mirrors and blind spots to the left, indicate to the left, engage first gear or train side control. You have full 360 observation. And curl bent forward, checking for vehicles on the left, on the left and the right. And if it's clear, we proceed onto the road. As soon as your steering wheel straight, shift into second gear, check the uh, road on the left here. Gently proceed in second gear, check the road on the left hand side. Shift up into third. Remember the speed limit here is 40 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> We've got a zebra crossing coming up. No pedestrians on the on the pavement. So we proceed. We've got right of way here. Check left, check right. Remember for the pedestrian crossings, you need to be aware before you get to them. So that means as you see the signs for the pedestrian crossings, scan the pavement from left to right. If there's a pedestrian approaching the crossing or already standing there, showing clearly that they want to cross, you need to be prepared to stop. Okay, we've got a road coming in on the left hand side here, so you need to check that. Pedestrian crossing coming up, I'm in third gear. So I brake gently, check my rear view mirror, shift into second, check left check right no pedestrians proceed over check your rear view mirrors check the speed make sure you stay under 40 k's per hour the whole way check left every main street that comes into this road or um, a, a big driveway we need to check that's five points on each side okay as we approach durban road here um, you prepare to turn to the left hand side when the examiner tells you Okay, at the next intersection we're turning left, I check my um, rear view mirror, left mirror, blind spot left, indicate, start braking, clutch in, second gear. Just before you turn here, check the road on the right, blind spot left, and bring the car to the foothold on the left hand side here, and crawl forward gently. This area here is always busy, you need to know how to do a slow crawl. So I haven't stopped here. I'm crawling in first gear using my clutch and my brakes. Just make sure you get through here safely. You need to drive defensively. See here, door just opening in the middle of the road. Okay, our next priority is this intersection. As you see here, there's a painted yellow island. If there are two vehicles on the other side of the island and the lights are red, you will stop before the island on the other side. Do not stop on top of the painted island. If you don't understand that, you need to check with your instructor how to deal with painted islands at intersections. Okay, while we wait at um, this intersection here in Commercial Road, the vehicles in neutral, the handbrake is engaged, the feet are off the pedals. It's quite a busy intersection, so you've got time here to recover. You've just been on the road for about four minutes now, and um, you're still a bit nervous. So just take your time to collect yourself and remember to breathe. Keep an eye on the robots so you can see when the other side goes amber. the pavement on the left hand side there's a yellow solid line there speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour 
then third gear, get your speed up to 50 kilometers per hour. Focus on doing observations, left, right. The wealth is solid line on the left hand side here. Yeah, it's a yellow line, it's faded. As we approach this sign here that says T Way Junction, check left. Look out for pedestrians on the crossing. Make sure not to touch the solid line on the right hand side. Observe to the right, indicate blind spot. Move over to the next lane. Get down to second gear for this right turn. Check left, blind spot right, and turn. Look out for pedestrians. They've got right of way. There we go. <coughs> Okay, on this road, the examiner will ask you to demonstrate a left turn using hand signals. So when I tell you, demonstrate a left turn using hand signals, you open your window, your right, the driver's window, check the rear view mirror, left mirror, left blind spot, indicate to the left, check your right blind spot, then stick your arm out the window and do the hand signal for a left turn. Hand back in, check right, check left for the yield and uh, check the road on the right indicate to the right slowly cruise forward for the yield sign we've got a vehicle coming from the right i've stopped i'm in first gear clutch control full 360 observation check left blind spot right and uh, when your steering wheel is straight go to second gear Remember to close your window, look out for the solid line on the right hand side, third gear. There's an Algar bus depot on the left hand side here. Always look out for the buses coming out and be prepared to stop. Look left, look right, stay on the left hand side here. There's a faded um, yellow island on the right, you don't want to go over that. this intersection check left check right keep a nice steady pace 50 k's per hour okay at the next intersection we're turning left do observations indicate left be careful here yeah? after this island you can only fit one car on the other side if the lights are off so do not stop on top of this island bring the car to a stop at the line the lights are off so it's a four-way stop okay it's a three-way stop here do observations, blind spot left, and turn. Turn and stay in the left hand lane here. So keep your speed nicely under control so you can get into this lane. And then there's always this um, pothole on the left here. You need to squeeze in between that and your lane markings. Third gear down to this hill here. Watch your speed. It's very easy to find yourself drifting over 60 kilometers per hour and you need to maintain good um, discipline here. Slight acceleration just to get yourself up this hill in third gear. At the next intersection we're turning left. Check your rear view mirror, left mirror, over the left shoulder, indicate left. Use your accelerator to slow down by gently easing off your accelerator and then as you approach the line brake clutch in and bring the car to a nice smooth stop before the line handbrake into first gear full 360 observation this is a slight incline so you need to make sure that you do your proper hill start check the road on the left into third gear at the next intersection we turn turning right do your observations indicate right you need to be careful here People have a tendency to want to overtake you even though you're turning right. Check the left road, blind spot on the right, make sure no one's overtaking. Control your speed as you get into this narrow road at the side. Check the one way on the right, check the road on the left. At the next intersection, we're turning left. Observations indicate left, check the road on the right. Brake gently, clutch in, second gear, keep braking, bring your speed down, it's a narrow street this. Check your um, blind spot on the left, take care not to touch a solid line on the right. Gently accelerate. At this point, the examiner will ask you if the road is clear to demonstrate an emergency stop. <clears throat> so when they tell you to stop, you check your rear view mirror and stop immediately. 
do your emergency braking, bring the car to a nice controlled stop. And take up into neutral, and then they might ask you to also sh um, show them how you do the startup procedure. So we're going to do that now. So you switch the vehicle off, put it in neutral, and then the startup procedure is the handbrake is engaged, the vehicle is in neutral, there are no obstructions at my feet, there's no excessive free play on the steering wheel, the dials are off um, because the vehicle is off, and then you put the vehicle in the on position, and um, you tell them the warning lights are now on, and you start your vehicle, all applicable warning lights are off. Once you've done that, engage first gear. Ah, uh, sorry. Check your rear view mirror, right mirror, right blind spot, indicate to the right, engage first gear, clutch control, full 360, and pull off gently. Okay. Second gear. Check the road on the left, into third gear. At the next uh, junction, we're turning right, observe to the right, indicate right. Break gently towards the stop here. Clutch in and stop. Handbrake up into first gear. Now for this um, intersection here, it's very critical. There's, it's only a one-way stop, so the vehicles crossing on this road in front of us do not have a control stop. So you have to crawl slowly forward to make sure that it's safe for you to proceed. So this will be in first gear. We'll do a cross start. Keep your foot on the brakes, bring up your clutch until the car vibrates. Do your full 360 observation, release the brakes, keeping the clutch on. Check left, check right. If it's clear, release your brakes, accelerate. Be careful of the pavement of the, on the left and the solid line on the right. Into second gear, accelerate nicely up this hill, check left, check right, into third. At the next robot, which is always off doesn't function we're turning left so this will be a stop for us indicating left bring the vehicle to a stop handbrake up into first gear touch control observations and go that's what left turn and stay to the left of this lane here into third gear check the road on the left Remember, always check your rear view mirrors, okay? Check the blind spot on your right, move over for the cyclist. It's one lane, so don't get the pain there. Be careful not to touch the solid line on your right. At the next intersection, we're turning right. The observations indicate right. Check your blind spot as you move into this lane here. This will be your first right turn. If the lights are on, now it's just a stop. Okay, blind spot right. Keep your speed nice and controlled as you, as you turn into this intersection. It's quite a bumpy road on this side. Third gear is fine. Check left, check right for the pedestrians. Okay, no response. Indicate to the left for this intersection. Bring the vehicle to a stop. And break up into first gear, do observations, okay, road is clear, check right, blind spot left, turn and stay in the left lane, okay, keep an eye out for vehicles pulling out of the parking on the left, taken nice and easy, we are about 60% um, of the way now, almost done with the test, you need to remember to keep your cool here, you don't want to speed on this road, keep your speed at 40, check left, start braking and preparation for the stop here, check your rear view mirror always, just make sure no one's going to run into you, clutch in now, bring the car to a stop on top of the yellow car, into first gear, observations, release, check right, check left, second gear, proceed through the intersection, don't worry about these potholes on the left here, just keep your speed nice and steady, because we need to stay in the left lane, we're turning onto the freeway just now, okay, so at the next robot, we're turning left, do observations, indicate left, 
and here this robot is also non-functional so it will be a stop quite a busy one as well so you need to be confident about dealing with dead robots okay, bring it to a stop before the solid line okay, to your observations release okay now we're on an on-ramp second gear accelerate flat into third accelerate flat your goal is to get to 80 k's per hour observe blind spot right for the merge fourth gear keep accelerating okay you've got 90 kilometers per hour now start checking your right mirror see if there's a gap for you to join okay do your observations indicate right check your blind spots and merge with the traffic okay now into fifth gear you should be doing at least 90 kilometers per hour now get to the indicator okay we're on the end too our oh, off ramp is coming up so we're gonna stay in this left lane now just maintain a nice steady speed between 80 and 90. okay we've got the 300 meter mark coming up check your rear view mirror left mirror left blind spot indicate to the left Keep your speed steady until you've crossed onto the off-ramp. As you pass the small blue sign on the left, take your right blind spot, left blind spot, ease off your accelerator as you get on the um, off-ramp. Don't brake too hard, get your speed down to 60. Clutch in, fourth gear, just to help you up this hill here in a controlled manner. Your speed should be about 55 now. Keep your eyes on the traffic lights. Remember, be prepared to um, move off if they turn green while you're still moving. There we go. I'm in first gear now. Bring up your clutch nice and gently. Okay, now observe to the right, indicate right. First blind spot, second blind spot to the right. You need to check all your blind spots for those um, three lane changes there. Okay, this is your last right turn. It's a stop today, so we're just going to bring it to a nice gentle stop here. Hand brake up, first gear, quick observation, pull off nicely, blind spot right, and proceed. Okay, look out for cars that show indications of not stopping. Look out for the solid line on the right, red line on the left. Check the road on the left. Here's your last turn before you finish the test. Okay, check your rear view mirror, brake gently, indicate to the left, bring the car to a stop. Handbrake up, first gear, observe, check the road on the right, left blind spot. Now keep the vehicle in first gear, just steady on your accelerator so you can make this turn is quite tight. A little bit of power, second gear, and now just hold your speed nice and steady. 20 k's per hour, this road is very busy. If there are car guards on the road, feel free to hoot at them. Okay, indicate to the left. Here comes the gate. Now you're almost done. Don't want to make mistakes here. Look out for the red line on the left hand side. Line spot left and turn. Line yourself up with the gate on the left hand side. Straighten the wheel and stop. And that's it. That's the cost and test route. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me um, or, or WhatsApp. On 084-784-9280, we'll be more than happy to take you through this route.